Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. My name is Hannah and I'm an author from the south of England. On this channel, I make videos about writing, reading, researching and marketing. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, please do subscribe. I was planning to do this video a lot earlier than today. Um, however, our postal service is sluggish. We'll call it that, we'll call it that. It's called snail mail for a reason. This thing was really late and it made me really upset because it means I have to watch everyone else on Instagram, get it before me and I have to hide from all their posts even though I wanna watch their videos because otherwise it would spoil what's inside. And obviously I'm talking about Abominable Book Club Box. This turned up over the weekend. Um, I have a confession to make. I always open it as soon as it gets here, so I don't open it on camera, mostly because I'm quite clumsy and I think I'll probably stab myself with a pair of scissors. Also because the box always comes with a local snack, normally from the area that the box is put together, so that's in South Wales. And sometimes that box, that snack is chocolatey and needs refrigerating and given the heat, uh, I thought it was probably best to check. So obviously I opened the box as a good citizen um, and then I ate the snack. It did not make it to the fridge. Me and Dan pretty much scarfed it the second I saw it. It was amazing. I didn't even keep the wrapper because I just, I, I thought I did and then I can't find it. I don't know what I've done with it. Anyway, it was these amazing little like meringue things with caramel in them and then they were coated in chocolate and it, they didn't last very long. But they're good, they were good. So anyway, I have the rest of the box that we can open. Let's do it. I always start with the same stuff. Tea and coffee, which is far too hot to have any of this right now. Um, but I can, I can save it. I'll save it for when it stops being summer, which it won't be very long because I'm in the UK. And we've already had like multiple days of summer. So any day now will rain and then I'll have it. Okay, so the first thing we have is Hinton Hollow Death Trip by Will Carver. Will Carver is actually the same author as the book that we got in the last box, but because of COVID and the ordering of the books and the organisation of the boxes has been slightly messed up. Um, so we have two months of the same author, which I'm fine with. Um, this is Hinton Hollow Death Trip, which sounds right up my street. It sounds like a small town kind of horror -y number and it's signed, which is really cute. Will Carver tells me to be good. I'm unsure if I can do that, but I'll try. So, Hinton Hollow Death Trip, uh, narrated by Evil Itself. I read that as Elvis. Reading is my strong suit. Narrated by Evil Itself, Hinton Hollow Death Trip recounts five days in the history of a small rural town when darkness paid a visit and infected its residents. A visit that made them act in unnatural ways, making them cheat, making them steal, making them kill. This book is signed by Will, exclusively for the book club. That is wicked, this sounds cool. I absolutely love the cover. It's beautiful. I don't really know how much you can see, but it's fancy. I didn't actually uh, get round to reading. I think it's nothing important happened today. Yeah, I haven't read that yet, so that's cool. I can read these close together. I'm not not mad at that. Next, we have one of my favourite bits about this box. Um, oh, this is a different one though. This is Black Static. Um, it's like a kind of magazine-y, short story, compilation-y number. And these are always really cool for inspiration. Some of the stories are really weird. The illustrations are always really weird. So, Black Static Magazine. Black Static, much like all of us here at the Accursed Library, have been hit hard by isolation over lockdown. So it's our great pleasure to bring them back to the box with one of their recent issues. It's jam-packed with stories and art by some of the UK's most exciting horror writers, plus articles and reviews. Awesome. I definitely need to get more acquainted with these because I think, I mean, I assume that there are quite a few different horror magazines in the UK, um, but you don't really hear about them unless you really search for them. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a separate video where I just find a ton of these. I hope that there are some now I've said I'll do it. Um, find some publications and chat about them. So as of last, last month, I think, um, the book box, abominable book box, blah, 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 blah. Guys need an easier name, please. Thanks, guys. Um, as of last month, this particular book box club um, started including little pins in the box, which is like sort of one of my favourite things about it now. Last month was a really cool um, little uh, it 
pin, so it had the little balloon and the paper boat, and it's now on my backpack. And this month, it's a little coffin, and it's really cute. And I love that they all just like stack up on my backpack, so I like that a lot. I've got another bookmark, which is great because I'm forever losing bookmarks, and this is really cute by an artist called This Is Sean Ellis. They've got the spook mark number eight. Um, and this one's actually written by Owen Morgan, who is one of the owners of the business. So that's really, really cool. Uh, it says, in five days, it will come on its spindly withered legs. In four days, it will come with eyes so black and dead. In three days, it will come its brood sacks full of eggs. In two days, it will come with a stench of rot and dread. Tomorrow, it will come so desperate to be fed. Today, it is here and to God, we all will beg. You. Oh wow, I hope that's true. It says an inscription, it's an inscription found at an abandoned house in Kenfig in Bridgend. So Bridgend is in South Wales for anyone that's not from the UK. I have family in Bridgend. Definitely considering trying to find this house next time I go and visit. That is really cool. And last but not least, I think this might be everyone's like sort of favourite bit about this particular box subscription service. Um, every month you get a wrapped little wax seal um, secondhand book so obviously it's totally random everyone gets a different one I love the surprise and everyone loves unwrapping things but if you are an adult and you say that you don't like unwrapping things you're a liar because everybody does uh, so this is whoa, Erebus and Victims by Sean Hudson Oh, I was about to read his name is Omnibus. His name is not Omnibus. Fancy. I have never read anything by Sean Hudson, um, so I look forward to that. It's a nice gnarly looking cover. I love a retro horror cover. How wonderful is that? Okay, so that is everything for this month's abominable book club box. Said it. Nailed it. Um, yeah, I say it every month that I open one of these. I thoroughly enjoy this box. Um, I really like how curated it is. I love all the thoughtful touches, that it's sustainable and eco-friendly, and it's from a local business-ish, kind of local, I guess. Uh, it's in the UK, you know, that counts. Um, and yeah, just the guys that run this particular subscription are really friendly, and you should absolutely follow their social media and yeah, sign up for a box if you're into horror and thrillers. So that is everything for this week's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Before I do go, this weekend, the 16th of August, is the World Wide write -a Yes. It's 24 hours of sprints from YouTubers and authortubers, uh, basically from all over the world, in lots of different time zones, and I am on a live stream with Kate Kavanagh, which is utterly terrifying um, and cool. And also have my own one, which I'm yet to schedule and I really need to do because I'm so disorganized, but I will put the links to all of that in the description below. Go and check it out. There'll be a playlist around as well. Um, come join us for 24 hours of writing madness. So that is that. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye.